Uh, good morning, my name is Silvia Zuffi, and I'm presenting 3D Menagerie, modeling the 3D shape and pose of animals. So today, uh, many 3D articulated shape models of the human body exist. And a recent example is SIMPLE for skin uh, multi-person linear model. So SIMPLE can represent people of different shape with realistic and learned post-dependent deformations. And it has been learned from a large data set of 3D scans of people. Aligning these scans for vertex to vertex correspondence is key for learning the model. And here, the, the subjects are in the same pose, and this makes the process of registration easy. But if we want to build a 3D model for animals, first of all, would we consider a different model for any species? And for doing this, how many animals can we bring to the lab for scanning? So in the case of wild animals, probably known. So our idea was to use toys as subjects. And here are the 3D scans of some of the toys we used. So toys are realistic and easy to scan as they do not move. But unfortunately, they are not in the same pose and we cannot collect many of them of the same species. So to overcome the lack of samples, we built a multifamily model. And to overcome the wide difference in shape and pose, we design a novel alignment method. So the alignment is based on GLOSS for global local shape space model. GLOSS is inspired by part-based model, but is global and differentiable. So starting from a template mesh, a lioness in this case, we can obtain different shapes by locally deforming the mesh parts according to synthetic deformations. And we fit GLOSS to our toys, obtaining a coarse alignment. And then we refine the alignment using as rigid as possible regularization. Finally, we bring the alignments to a common pose and we build the animal shape space with principal component analysis. So this is how the space over animals of different families looks like. The first dimension is size. Then we have a zebra lion dimension, then a horse hippo dimension, and so on. And if we look at the first eight principal components of the toys in a 2D visualization, we see clear per family clusters. So these are samples obtained by moving from one cluster to another one in the PCA space. To model the post-dependent deformations, uh, we, simply, we simply use linear blend skinning. And we, can, we call the model small for skin multi-animal linear model. In the experiments, we fit small to images. We minimize an energy composed by different terms, and we use as input data the location of 20 key points and silhouette manually annotated. So we minimize a key point reproduction error term, a silhouette match term, a penalty for exceeding joy limits that we set manually, a post prior learner as a multivariate Gaussian over the poses of the toys and from a synthetic walking sequence, and then a shape prior term. This can be the global PCA space, or in case we know the family of the animal we are fitting, we can use a family specific shape prior. So these are some examples of the fittings. The last column shows the results in neutral pose to illustrate the recovered shape. And despite the fact that we train the model on toys, our experiments uh, show that it captures shapes of real animals as well. So the model and results are available online. Thank you.